Will Levis is the future for the Tennessee Titans, and it's clear when you turn on the film. Time for our first ever Tic Tac Titans film breakdown. Titans fans, welcome in to Tic Tac Titans. I am your host, Tyler Rowland. I am the host of the Locked on Titans podcast. I've covered the team for Sports Illustrated, for USA Today. I've been a Tennessee Titans fanatic for 25 years, and I'm a certified film junkie ready to break down the X's and O's with you guys all year long. This channel is going to be focused on breaking down the film. We are going to talk player deep dives. We're going to look at free agency additions, draft additions, and when the season comes around, I'm going to be having Monday through Friday content, not only breaking down what's going on with the Titans out on the field, but also with a look at their opponents as well. So if you want a deeper understanding of your favorite team, Tic Tac Titans is the place for you. Get subscribed, stay subscribed, throw a thumbs up on the video as well with the channel being new all of your support will make a huge difference. The content's always free. A couple clicks of a button isn't too much to ask. But with that being said, we are going to start with Will Levis. I'm going to focus on three areas. Number one, his elite arm strength, his ability to throw with accuracy, and his ability to navigate the pocket. So with all that being said, let's head into the film room. Our first play that we're going to look at from Will Levis, especially focusing on the arm strength, coincidentally, is his first career touchdown pass. And I think this really shows off the elite arm strength that he brings to the table. So, Traylon Burks comes in motion, and that identifies for Will Levis that this is going to be a zone coverage. It's not going to be, man, nobody traveled with Burks across the formation. You're going to get a simple play-action fake here to Tajay Spears. You're going to get a crossing route from Traylon Burks, and you're going to get a deep vertical route from DeAndre Hopkins. And, and this is a tough coverage to go against because the Falcons are going to be in a cover four. So one, two, three, and four. So they're going to be in a cover four coverage, which means Levis is going to have to read what happens while the play is developing. He's not going to be able to, to know. So right here, what you'll see is Hopkins is pretty much alone. On this vertical route here, Burks is coming on the crosser, and you got a ton of attention looking at Traylon Burks. And Levis is going to do something pretty smart here. He's going to pump fake. Boom, there's a pump fake. And what that does is that draws the safety down to Traylon Burks. And now he knows, you know, I got a one-on-one -on -one with my best wide receiver down the field, and I got a cannon on me. So I'm going to let this rip, and wow, does he ever. From the 45... Let's the ball go. And Hopkins catches it at the five. That's a 50-yard throw in the air. Elite arm strength from Will Levis. And I love this, this angle right here because you can see the effect that the pump fake really has on that safety. So you get the play action fake. And look at number three right here for the Falcons. Should I go deep? Should I take this crosser? What should I do? And Levis influences him with the pump fake. Boom, right there. The safety declares, and now Levis knows, I got my guy. So the whole time, the whole time, he knew that I got to bring that safety down to make sure that I got time and space to get that to Hopkins. What a beautiful throw and a great first touchdown pass. All right, this next one is an excellent play design by former Tennessee Titans offensive coordinator, Tim Kelly. It takes me back to my days of peewee football with the play-action boot throwback. It gets them every time, but... Will Levis is going to take the snap here, and he's going to roll out this way. You're going to have a vertical route by Traylon Burks meant to take this cornerback deep, and then you're going to have a crossing route from DeAndre Hopkins over here. And the whole idea of the crossing route and the bootleg by Levis is to be able to pull the defense to this side of the field, okay? And all the while that happens, you're going to have Nick Westbrook-Akine in the slot. He's going to come in, fake the corner route, and then turn it into a deep post. Absolutely excellent play design here from Tim Kelly, of course, but the throw that Will Levis makes here is even more impressive than the design. Look at this. He's got two Falcons defenders, which if you've been watching Titans football, Will Levis will be used to by his ninth start, but he's got two defenders bearing down on him right here, okay? And he still is going to find a way to throw this ball from basically the 45-yard line 
all the way into the end zone and lead Nick Westbrook Akine where he needs to go. This is absolutely excellent. So look, if Will Levis were to throw this ball up the field, then the defender would be able to make contact and be able to get in the way. But instead, Levis leads Nick Westbrook Akine all the way across the field to the other side to keep him as far away from that defender as he possibly can. And look, off his back foot from the 45-yard line, from the right hash, throwing this all the way into the left back corner of the end zone, five yards deep, that is absolutely absurd. That is incredible. That's why when I say Will Levis has elite arm strength in the NFL already, it's an undeniable trait that he has. I don't, I don't see how you could watch plays like this and not realize it. I mean, this and the wonderful Billy White Shoes celebration from NWI. I mean, this is absurd quarterbacking. Falling backwards, getting hit across the field, right hash. I mean, absolutely ridiculous from Will Levis there. All right, play number three in the arm strength section isn't uh, your typical play. So if you watch Titans football in the 2023 season, they ran a ton of trick plays. And they had to because they were outmanned roster-wise pretty much every single week. So here what the Titans do is they have Derrick Henry and the King Cat. Uh, they have Tajay Spears come across and get the handoff, and then he's going to pitch it back to Will Levis. All the while that's happening, you got DeAndre Hopkins who's going to come up here and fake the stock block and then bolt forward to the end zone. So uh, a good design by Tim Kelly here to try to, you know, get the Titans in, in a situation that they can have some success. But look at Hopkins selling it right now and then just hits the Jets against Andre Sisco, who's a very good young safety. Will Levis from the 45 throws it all the way to the goal line, basically. I mean, that, that's like a 52, 53-yard rope. All right, dropping it right in the bucket, too, again, guys. Elite arm strength already. Elite arm strength. So, I love the design. Love the trick play from Tim Kelly. What? Look at that. While getting hit, boom, drop it in the bucket. I mean, this is fantastic arm strength from Will Levis on display. All right, so in our final play focused on arm strength, I know that we're just talking about the arm strength here, but the decision-making and processing what the defense is doing in real time, that's another aspect of this play that, that really is impressive. So the Dolphins come out, they're in a two-high safety shell, okay? But as we see a lot, they're going to end up being in a cover four coverage. And a lot of teams, what they do is they play a match quarters where it's cover four and you think that's traditional zone. But as the wide receivers declare their routes, the defensive backs basically turn it into man coverage down the field. You're going to see that a ton all over the NFL if you're watching film. So when DeAndre Hopkins takes a vertical route here, basically what happens is this safety drops down because the cornerback is going to be with Hopkins now. They're, they're turning it into the match part of the match quarters. And Will Levis basically sees that. And once he sees that happen, kind of similar to the first play where he baits the safety, he doesn't bait the safety here with a play action fake. But once he sees it happen, he says, all right, my guy one-on-one -on -one down the field, I'm letting it rip. And this is against Xavier Howard. I mean, that's a great corner. So right here, Levis can see this safety is turned in looking for somebody coming this way. This is it. Inside leverage. I got my guy one-on-one -on -one down the field, and I'm going to sling it because I got one of the best arms in the entire NFL. So Levis absolutely lets it rip. I mean, he threw that from like the 35-yard line, and Hopkins is catching it at the 10. I, I mean, quick math, but that's like 15 plus 40. That's like 65 yards. I mean, we're talking about an absolute rope down the field. And, you know, Hopkins plays handsy. <laughs> he does. Uh, and defensive backs don't always like it. But, hey, that's why you throw it up to a guy like DeAndre Hopkins. Because he makes a play and he comes down with it. Barreling down on him. Getting hit. Absolute rock. And what a catch by Hopkins. What a catch. What a connection between those two. Absolutely fantastic. Again, elite level arm strength. From Will Levis already on display in his rookie season. And the Titans absolutely have to build on that. But now, let's move forward and look at some of his most accurate throws and most impressive accuracy displays from his rookie year.
So everybody knows about Will Levis's arm strength. That's one of the number one things that people think of, the number one thing that people think of when you talk about Will Levis. Is everybody recognizes that he has a cannon, but some of the displays of accuracy that he showed in his rookie year really have me excited about what's to come. So let's start with this play in Miami, and this is just absolutely ridiculous. So the Dolphins come out in a cover two. They're going to have deep safety here, deep safety here. All right, cover two coverage. And you're going to have DeAndre Hopkins over on this side running a vertical route. Okay, he's going to go vertically, and then you're going to have a little slot out right here. So as the play continues, you see the coverage develop into what it's going to be. And Will Levis sees that. And you got a few options against cover two. So right here, this cornerback sits on this out route. But this interior zone defender is going to see Hopkins going vertically. And he's going to go with it. So against this coverage, you can either attack the middle of the field, which the Titans don't have a route there. Or you can attack these holes right here on the outside in between the safety and the corner. So Will Levis knows... Since I don't have anybody in the middle, that's that's the only option that I have here. So he's going to get this ball into Hopkins while getting smacked by Bradley Chubb. Boom. Literally guy on his back, ball in his hand. And he barely gets... Look at that. In between those three defenders. Look at that. I mean, that is absurd to fit that ball in between those three defenders right there while you're getting smacked by one of the best edge rushers in the NFL. Like... I mean, the arm strength is great. The arm strength is great. It is elite. The release quickness, the toughness, but the accuracy here on this, absolutely ridiculous. Look, boom. I mean, the toughness, the tough, I mean, God. And Hopkins, great catch, fights through the contact, stays up, gets some more yards. A lot of these plays are a great job by Hopkins, too. All right, so on this play, we're going to have cover four coverage here, like we've been talking about the whole time. Very popular coverage in the NFL right now. Cover four because of what it allows you to do as a defense as the routes are declared. All right, and not only that, but the Panthers are going to drop eight guys into coverage on this play. So this is going to be a very difficult play for Will Levis to find somebody open. Now, as for the routes, you're going to see... Chigakonkwo come here and sit down. You're going to see another sit down route by Tajay Spears over here. You're going to get an out route over here by Chris Moore. And then Josh Wiley is who ultimately gets the ball. He's going to come up here on kind of a, a, a mid-range dig route, an in route. And what Will Levis does here to buy himself enough time to get this ball to Josh Wiley while having the accuracy. So right here, this linebacker has to choose. All right, am I going to come up on the sit down? Am I going to flow with? And this safety starts to recognize it too. Oh, 81 is about to roll to the inside here. There's nobody coming to threaten me. I need to get over here and get it. This cornerback is staying with Chris Moore and this safety is going to realize, oh, I'm going to have to get here as well. So this is going to be tough for Will Levis to get this ball in. Not only that, but watch Will Levis float in the pocket this way and use a sidearm delivery, arm angles. He's got the ability to do that stuff to get this ball to the perfect spot. Right here, three guys in the vicinity. Levis throws a perfect strike to Josh Wiley for a 10-yard gain. I, I mean, again, from this angle, you can really see, look at the slide away to give himself a better angle because if he sits there, it, it's going to be tougher to get it to where he needs to get it. So he slides over so that he's directly lined up with his target. And look at the arm angle, the sidearm, and fits it in. I mean, that is excellent accuracy from Will Levis. Impressive. All right, so this play right here is one of my favorite throws of the entire season from Will Levis. The Miami Dolphins and the first play that we talked about, it, it was a cover six, not a cover four. The backside was cover two. But that's what we're going to see here is a cover six coverage from the Dolphins. So you're going to have this side of the field is cover two. All right. This back side or the front side over here is cover four. And again, 
as the routes are declared by the receivers, the defense turns it into man coverage. And that's what we're going to see. So from the Titans' perspective, talking about the routes here, you're going to have Chris Moore on a deep post, all right? And basically, this cornerback, Jalen Ramsey, is going to turn into man coverage and go with the post. Meanwhile, you have Nick Westbrook Akine, who is going to be running the deep corner route, okay? And Will Levis just, just delivers a, a, a fantastic ball. And this is during the comeback, uh, setting the Titans up for their third touchdown of the night. But what you see right here is this defender is looking here. Ramsey is with him on the deep post. So this safety right here and this linebacker right here, hello, David Long, are the threats for this pass, okay? Especially this safety who should be barreling down on this because, again, it's match quarter or match quarters on that side of the field and the safety is going to stick with the, the outside receiver on the post, so you know, the corner here, so that safety is going to have to get there, but you're going to have to throw it further enough to where this linebacker doesn't cause problems, okay? And Levis does a great job of anticipating this throw as well. And where Nick Westbrook Akine is right now to where he catches the ball, again, great job by Levis, letting it go there and leads him to the sideline and make sure that he's not too far upfield to get hit by the safety, but it's over the linebacker so that the linebacker can't make the play. This is an excellent, excellently accurate throw from Will Levis that sets the Titans up inside the five-yard line. I mean... Again, the arm strength is great, but some of these displays of, of accuracy, uh, you combine that with the elite arm strength, you combine that with the competitiveness, woo! All right, so this one is during the two-minute drill before halftime against the Steelers. The Steelers are going to be in a cover two zone here. So you got this safety, and he's going to roll out a little bit wider. This safety just is like having fun, going back and forth, acting like he's going to come up, and then finally widens out. I don't know. He's just keeping himself uh, entertained, really, more than confusing Will Levis. But on the Titans side of it, you're going to have a classic dagger concept. So dagger is going to be a deep dig, deep in route here, and then... The inside guy is going to run a vertical route. And the whole idea is the vertical route pushes this safety backwards. And then against this zone, there should be a hole right here to hit the dig route. Now, the Steelers did a great job of pressing the Titans and making it tough, especially on Hopkins all game. So Hopkins route isn't great for what the concept is. But Levis's delivery as he hits the vertical route here is just excellent. So, Kyle Phillips clears this defender here, and there's a little hole right here in front of this safety where Will Levis is going to have to get this ball in. And again, the accuracy here is what makes the play. Look where Levis puts this ball. So, if Levis leads Phillips too far up the field, the safety's going to get there. All right, so what Levis does is he actually throws the ball inside and a little low. Okay, and what that's going to do is that's going to allow Phillips to stay away from the safety, not get a nasty hit, and just have more room. So the the accuracy here, absolutely excellent to give Kyle Phillips a chance to not only catch the ball, but stay protected as well. That's an incredibly accurate throw. This last final play here, well, it won't be our final play. We're going to give you a bonus fifth one here. But this play again against the Dolphins. They're in a two-high safety shell here with two safeties deep. But what's going to happen is this safety is going to roll down, okay, and turn this into cover three. So you're going to have cover three, cover three, cover three. That's what you're going to be looking at here. And uh, again, the accuracy to Chris Moore is what makes this play. So from the Titans side of things, you're going to have a deep vertical route here, and then you're going to have an in-breaking route, a deep dig route here from Chris Moore across the field. And again, once this safety right here drops down, Will Levis knows that this part of the field is going to be open. But again, not the decision here. Look how accurate this throw is. And if you're watching in real time, it may not look like a great throw. It may, because what you want is, in theory, you want to lead your receiver forward so we can create 
create more yards after catch. But this cornerback right here, or this safety, is going to come back, okay? And Ramsey is sticking with his man right here, okay? So when he comes back, that makes it not as easy of a throw for Will Levis. You can't just lead Chris Moore out here because this guy has a chance to get to it. So watch what Levis does here to give Chris Moore an opportunity again, not only to catch the ball, not only to not get hurt, but to actually have yards after catch opportunities when you would think the throw didn't accentuate that, but it actually does. And from this angle, you can really see it. So Levis puts it right on Chris Moore, which makes him kind of stop in his tracks. Again, you want to lead your receiver, but with this safety bearing down on him right here, Will Levis doing this and throwing it right on him and making him stop, make sure that he doesn't get smacked and runs right into that cornerback. And it gives Chris Moore an opportunity to catch himself and then redirect, which actually ultimately allows him to have more yards after catch. So now he stopped and his momentum stopped. He can move around and run backwards around the cornerback and get more yards after catch. So incredibly accurate throw. Let's take a look at Will Levis's ability to make things happen in the pocket, whether it be maneuvering in the pocket, whether it be being able to make throws while it's a dangerous pocket, which for the Tennessee Titans last year and for the last few years, I would not call the pocket a friendly place for quarterbacks. But you're going to have Nick Westbrook-Akine on a slot out and up here, and it's going to be wide open, and, and Levis is going to hit him. But the impressive part of the play isn't necessarily just the throw, but the ability for Will Levis to make that throw considering what's going on in the pocket because he basically makes the throw on one foot. So Peter Skaronski gets beat right away. The Steelers have a great defensive line. Uh, even with help, Tajay Spears can't really <laughs> get the job done. Um, and Levis is kind of stuck. He's going to have the guy open because the cornerback is going with the deep route here. So Nick Westbrook-Akine on this out and wheel, out and up, whatever you want to call it, is going to be open. Levis knows he's about to get drilled though. So he basically makes this throw while jumping off one foot. One foot. Jumping. Getting smacked. Delivers a beautiful ball onto the sideline. I mean, that is miraculous. Now, the hope is that Will Levis doesn't have to be in these situations as often uh, with improvements on the offensive line via free agency in the draft. But again, it's not always going to be perfect. Great win right away by 95 on Skaronski. And 99's coming free because Aaron Brewer tried to leave to help Peter Skaronski. It's not Tajay Spears, it's Aaron Brewer. Again, he's up on one foot jumping and makes this throw and gets smacked. And it's perfect. It's perfect. All right, on this play, you're going to have a vertical route. Also, can I start a play without saying all right? Don't say all right to start the play challenge for me. But you're going to have a vertical route on the outside from Traylon Burks. And then you're going to have a deep out route from Kyle Phillips. And the Titans are trying to save time here. So it's important to get these routes going to the sideline. And Levis slides to his left in the pocket to give himself more room. And delivers a ball all the way across. So right here... Levis has some pressure coming in the middle. He slides over, takes that step up, and slides over to the left, but delivers the ball to the right side of the field. So left hash all the way to the right sideline in stride for Phillips to catch it and get out of bounds and save time. I mean, these are just tremendous plays and navigating the puck. So the, the stunt comes from 54, and 98's winning as well. So he slides over to get away from those guys and while sliding away, delivers a ball to his right. I, I mean, that's just incredible pocket navigation. It, the little itty bitty steps to give himself enough room to make those plays. Go ahead and put this at the top of the list or in the top three of my favorite throws from Levis all season. Again, it's not just about maneuvering in the pocket. It's about being able to make things happen when the pocket is muddy, all right? When it's dirty in there, when you're not kept clean, can you still get the job done? And, and this play displays it as well as anything. So you're gonna have DeAndre Hopkins on the outside. He is gonna run a post route 
He kind of gets a, an inside release into a post route. And they're going to run, and I love when the Titans did this. Hopefully, it's something that continues. But they're going to run Chickaconquo through here like he's blocking because it's a play-action fake. But then he's going to turn it into a wheel route down the sideline out of the fullback position. There was a really good play that the Titans got on this against the Colts one time. So it's a play that the Titans have had success with in this offense. But things do not go perfectly. Let's just say that. Up at the top of the screen, rookie offensive tackle Jalen Duncan gets beat immediately. to the Literally immediately. All right? And Will Levis is, is like the Simpsons meme. I'm in danger. And he is. Look, I mean, this is unabated to the quarterback, blind side. You're going to get smoked. But Levis sees Hopkins going on the wheel route and knows that he has him beat. All right? Chig is already two feet ahead of the linebacker. So Levis now is turned enough to where he sees, oh, I'm getting hit. He doesn't care. He hangs in there and boom, look at that. Look at that shot on Will Levis, but look at him stick in there with toughness and competitiveness and make that throw perfect in stride, gets it to him, and you're set up in the five-yard line. I mean, you combine the arm strength that we saw in the first segment. We combine the accuracy and then the toughness in the pocket and the mobility in the pocket. I mean, this is excellent stuff from Will Levis that has to have you fired up as a Tennessee Titans fan. So a lot of these plays so far have been, you know, he's getting hit in the pocket, the pocket's muddy, he's trying to find room, so, but this shows the mobility, and there's more of this on the tape, more runs from Will Levis, and I think he can use the mobility more, but right here, nobody is open, and this is a, a common theme on Tennessee Titans tape. Covered, double covered, 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 like there's no where for Levis to go here. Okay, but this is a critical play. The Titans are trying to come back. They're down 14 points on Monday Night Football against the Miami Dolphins. And Will Levis, uh, unlike other quarterbacks that I can mention, my <clears throat> Derek Carr, who would just, you know, throw this away, Levis says, no, nah, I'm going to make something happen because not only do I have elite arm strength, not only can I throw with accuracy, but I also have underrated mobility. So no one's there. I'm going to buy myself some time. I'm running up, and here is what happens. So when Levis runs up, this defender comes up to meet him, okay? And this makes sense. This defender doesn't have a man assignment. They should be the one. But DeAndre Hopkins, who has shown up a ton on this episode, floats inside here away from his man who's on his back on the outside, and it gives him enough room. And Levis, while running, while having a guy coming from behind him, while having a defender coming up to him, still is willing to keep his eyes down the field, look up and look for someone to throw to, because I can run, but if I can use the run as a threat to open up a passing lane, that's really what, really what he wants. And he delivers a beautiful ball, stops, pops, gets hit from behind, touchdown. Time to celebrate. Love that. Great angle here too. Nobody there, nobody there. I mean, he goes through two or three progressions here before he decides to run, starts running. He could just take off. No, I'm going to keep my eyes downfield. And he's looking this direction. And that's why four is stuck right there. Four doesn't even notice that Hopkins leaves because he sees the eyes. I mean, this is nasty, man. This is nasty football right here. That's Sandlot making a play. Last play here that I want to show you guys. This isn't something incredible, but I mean, Will Levis just gets destroyed here and still pops that ball out to Derrick Henry somehow. How? How? I don't understand. I don't. Like, this is this is not anything more than just pure toughness, competitiveness. Hey, I'm getting smacked by two guys. I'm going to find a way to get the ball out. <laughs> I mean, man. All right, guys, that is going to do it for our first ever episode here on the Tic Tac Titans YouTube channel. Again, all of your support means a ton. Click the like button, hit subscribe, tell your friends, share it around. I appreciate it. I'm going to be putting a ton of work into this channel to go along with the Locked On Titans podcast. Make sure that you're subscribed over there as well, where I 
do more of the talking points, more discussion-based things like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave some comments down below and let me know what you want to see next. As always, I am your host, Tyler Rowland. Tighten up.